Ladies and gentlemen, we are back here at Macro Center at the Tustin location, and our goal today is very simple, to build the best price-to-performance gaming PC using the RX 9070 XT. We do have a max budget of $1,500 that we cannot pass under no circumstances, but I'm gonna try and spend the least amount as possible, while also making sure the PC doesn't look like a toaster. You guys remember Aria from the last Micro Center video? We actually stepped up and offered to be my full-time camera guy for the Micro Center video. So moving forward, you're gonna see him appear in every single future Micro Center video. Speak of the devil, there he is. I was just shooting my intro. Welcome. Welcome. What made you decide to be my camera guy? Honestly, I figured, hey, I'm always on here. Why not? You know there's no pay, always right? Always talking to you. That's fine. Pretty much always <laughs> on here anyways. Actually, no, there is pay. There is pay. The pay is you get to be around my presence. <laughs> <laughs> so I heard last week was your birthday. It was. How old are you turning? 23. 23. Happy birthday, man. I know I already told you that before, but I do appreciate you coming out here, spending time out of your busy schedule to record a video for me and you get nothing back in return. You're also very active on the Discord servers. Yeah. You're in the VCs, you're helping people with their build lists and uh, issues with their PCs as well. And honestly, you're, you're a genuine guy. So because of all that, and it's your birthday, I'm gonna give you a little something. Just no. a little, just $500 to help you with you your- You don't have to, man. I know I don't have you to, don't. but I, I know I don't have to, all just right. take it. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, dude. Thank you for being so cool. That is a long line, holy crap. What is this line for? Like 50 series only? All of them. All of them? So they, they could be waiting in line for a 3070 and they don't even know. Wow. That is crazy. I definitely want to check the, uh, the inventory situation inside as well. See if they have any like 9000 series graphics cards, also 50 series because that is insane. It's a long line. Okay, so every time you walk into a micro center, the best place to start is always at the bundles. Bundles, exactly. You get to see how much money you can save if you group together a CPU, motherboard, and memory, and that will also kind of paint the picture of what the system is going to look like. What do you want to do? We're going to do AMD or Intel bundles? AMD, probably. Probably for value, right? So I'm going to scroll down here, click on the AMD bundles. What kind of CPU we're thinking over here? Probably like a Ryzen 7. Yeah. Oh, there's a $300 bundle with a 7600X, uh, but it only comes with one stick of 16 gig memory. Yeah, no. Yeah, I know. If you're building a PC in 2025, you want to go with at least 32 gigs, 6,000 mega transfers per second with CL30. That is like the minimum you want to put in your system. Not to mention, try to think for dual slot. Don't go for yeah, dual slot. Definitely want to go dual slot for stability, obviously. We have a 330 bundle with a 9600X, okay. but it comes with 16 gigs of memory still let's see if we can find any 32 gigabyte bundles here we go for 370 dollars you get a 7700x b650 motherboard and a 32 gigabyte g skill kit i think that's the one dual slot dual slot you got two sticks yeah the next one up is 400 dollars, but that's with a 9700x but there's really no difference between the 9700x and the 7700x it's pretty much the same game performance and we can save the 30 dollars and put it towards a different upgrade that's actually a really good deal we're gonna be saving a lot of money compared to if you were to buy these parts separately. And I'll put the savings somewhere on the screen. So we'll start with that. Let's go pick up the CPU motherboard memory and then we'll get the rest of the parts. All right, first up we got the 7700X, which is up here. Brand new sealed. We're obviously gonna need a cooler with this because this is only the CPU. So clearly we have a lot of uh, CPUs in stock for AMD, so. Okay, so the motherboard that comes with the bundle is the Gigabyte B650 Gaming X AXV2. Hey, they don't have a disclaimer anymore. Remember? Oh yeah. They took it out. They don't even have it. Oh, they put it over here. Well, sorry guys. This is the board that comes with the bundle, but Micro Center is actually giving the consumers an option to upgrade within the bundle. So you're not only stuck to the same board. So you can actually spend $50 more and go with the Elite AX Ice instead. So that way, if you're going with like an all white build, you can find the right components for your system. So I think that's really cool that Micro Center is finally giving us the option of upgrading within the bundle. But yeah, unfortunately, we gotta stay with the default pick if you wanna save the most money. This is a performance only build after all, so we're gonna go with this instead.
All right, memory up next, G-Skill. You gotta go with the 32 gigabyte kit, CL36. That is one of the downsides of going with the bundle. You have to go with the CL36 kit. So we got the memory, the usual Flare X5 from G-Skill. Ideally, you wanna go with CL30, but um, from my understanding, they don't have any CL36 for G-Skill. They only have CL36, and if you wanna get the bundle discount, you're gonna have to go with the CL36, but I'm not complaining. It's still a really good deal on a pair of 32 gigabyte sticks. All right, time for the Gravis card, REM. Are we gonna see any 9070 XTs in stock? Uh, we gotta say no, how, how was it yesterday when you got here? Yesterday? I mean, you guys saw the line. That line was probably like triple the amount that it was today. That was triple yesterday? Triple the amount. That's insane. Oh, I think we're in luck. XFX has six in stock, $830 though. Oh, that is way above. I was hoping to snag one at MSRP. Like 650 bucks, was it? Or 600? Uh, 600, I believe. $600. That is $230 more than MSRP. That's going to put us way over our budget. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not looking great, unfortunately. The other option was the XFX for 800 It's a white one. How is a white one cheaper? It's $20 cheaper. Same card? Same card. SF, XFX, the Quicksilver white is $20 less. That doesn't make sense at all. Is it, since when? Our white car is cheaper, but anyways, that one's sold out. I think we should go and ask one of the reps as, if there's any in the back. Here it is, boys and girls, the dreaded GPU aisle. This is all the stock that is left here at Micro Center. We have a ton of RTX 3050s. We got a few GT710 and 730s as well over here. And nothing else on the mid-range to high end. We are fresh out of stock, unfortunately. Do you think AMD is just as worse? Oh, okay. We got some RX 580s. We're going somewhere. Oh my God, that's literally it. I'm surprised they're even selling RX 580s in the first place. That's crazy. How much are they selling? $145? That can't be right. No way. RX 550 for $160. There's obviously something wrong here. The 550 can't cost more than the 580. Am I missing something here? If you asked me five years ago, how much the RX 580 would cost five years in the future, <laughs> I would have never said over $100. That's crazy. Okay, so uh, they don't have any 9070 XTs in the shelves, unfortunately. Uh, they have a few in the back, and one of the reps told me they have an open box. A white, what brand was it again? I mean, sorry, was it? No, I think it was Power Color. Oh, Power Color. So Power Color RX 9070 XT. They have one available in the back. So he's gonna go check and see if it's still there. It's gonna throw off the color scheme a little bit, so we might have to shift a few things. Originally, we wanted to go with an old black build, but because of the Gravis card, we might change the cooler and the case to white just so it all matches. But let's just hope it's in stock. All right, so this is the one. Oh, it's an XFX. It's not, it wasn't um, power color. Oh, okay, so the MSRP is $800, but because it's open box, we're getting it for $720. So hopefully this still allows us to stay on our budget. Thank you. All right, storage. What are we looking for storage, Arya? How much should we put in here? Maybe 60, 70 bucks. How many, what's, the, what's the capacity? Oh, capacity is one terabyte. <laughs> He's like throwing $60. $60 worth of what? So one terabyte, obviously, one a safe terabyte. bet, right? And then if we have the budget for it. Maybe a two terabyte. Honestly, I would rather just go over one terabyte and then put that extra money towards other parts of the build. One terabyte is really all you need for like Modern Warfare 3, and then you're full, <laughs> and that's it. Lowest price, I'm gonna already assume it's gonna be the Inland. Inland always offers the oh, best sorry. value. Yeah, there it is, Inland TN320 for $55. I think that was Gen 3. Oh, it's Gen 3. This is, this is why I bring Aria here, so you can correct my mistakes. So we're, gonna, we're about to put a Gen 3 SSD in a Gen 4 motherboard. It'll be great. I'm just gonna hand the channel over to you at this point. The TN470, Gen 4, $60. That's, That's the one. Yeah, there's seven in stock. Let's go snag it. Storage, feel like one terabyte is plenty. We can always add more if needed. Inland usually has the best value. Like the TN470, this one's going for $60, one terabyte. That's actually pretty insane speeds, right? Yeah, so, I mean, that's crazy. Pretty fast. If we must downgrade, if we don't have the budget, we might downgrade to 500 gigs. I definitely don't want to do that, but you know, that is an option. That's a backup plan, essentially. Jesus, a little more gentle, all right? All right, CPU cooler now. 
What are we thinking? Liquid or air? I want to say air. Why? Price-wise, right now, they're much air coolers are Air coolers do have the best value. Um, if you want to go with a bit more bling... Oh, Johnny boy. <laughs> What the <laughs> Lowest price, what do we got, baby? Give me a $30 cooler, baby. Here we are, Cooler Master Hyper 212 Halo. It's $35, but we will save a lot of money. Um, instead of going with a, a 360 cooler. Let's go with it. Yeah? Right, sounds good. Let's do it, 35 bucks. All right, here we go. There's like barely any air coolers left. That's crazy. Here it is, Hyper 212 Halo White, 120 millimeter RGB fan. This is gonna be more than enough for the 7700X. It should be. Especially when I go into the BIOS, enable PBO and undervolt our CPU. It's not gonna pull in that much power and we can keep our temps down. All while saving money in the process. All right, how much watts do you think we need for this build, Aria? Minimum 750, but I would say 850 does have that heavy. The 9070XT is notorious for the power spikes, yeah. right? So ideally, you want to put it in an 850 watt power supply if you're going with a 9070XT. Plus, it'll cover any future upgrades as right. well. So better be safe than sorry. We'll filter with all power supplies and we will sort it with the lowest because again, we're trying to squeeze out as much performance as possible without spending a lot. But the cheapest 850, Surprise, surprise. Power spec. Power spec. Yet again, $105 for the gold certified one. Fully modular. Not bad. That's yeah. not bad at all. There's only 11 in stock, so let's go snag this. Hey, yo. It's unfortunate the MSI one is out of stock, but you know, power supplies are going by quick. People are building PCs, so. We are left with the power spec option yet again. Gold certified, fully modular as well. So I think this is gonna be our best bet to stay under our budget. What say you, Arya? I actually, that's basically our only option. Our right only now, option. Since everything else is either 1,000 watt or... Or over $120 yeah. for an 850. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Last but not least, we got a shop for our case. What are we building in today, Aria boy? Let's just set a price, let's just set a price. $100, oh no, $100, $100 for sure. Preferably some fans in there. Let's see what we got. I feel like Micro Center needs to have more budget cases, yeah. right? I feel like they're definitely lacking well, in the budget department. Do. They usually do. Like a more right variety, now. like a more variety is what I meant to say. They have a nice selection as it is, but please Micro Center, if you're watching, give us more selection for budget cases. The Montec X3 mesh in white. It's $70, it comes with four fans. That's actually pretty good for $70. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I feel like later on, if I want to upgrade to a 360 cooler, we're not going to be able to do that with the X3 mesh because you can only fit a 240 millimeter on the top. So let's see what else we can get that's a little bit more on the higher end. We still have up to $100 to spend on the case, so might as well get something nicer. Ooh, what about the Montec Air 903 Max? This one's $90, there's 19 in stock comes with four 120mm fans. The rear one is non-RGB, but it's a good looking case. And supports 360 on the top. So we got future expandability, really good ratings. Let's go check it out. So this is what it looks like. That's actually a nice looking case. Have you seen better value than that, are you? No. No, right? That is the best value right now. I believe there are 140 fans too. Oh, check so. that out actually. There's a fan controller in the back too. You see that? Okay, yeah, I'm sold. Zoom in on that, that way. You can't zoom in. You're still an amateur. It's okay. You'll get, you'll get the hang of the camera very soon. All right, this is what, your third time filming? Yeah, third time. Yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll get there. You'll get there. All right, let's go check out. What do you think the total cost is? I'm gonna say 1350. I'm gonna say 1400. 1400? I'm gonna say 1400. Okay, all right. I mean, I think we did really good in terms of part selection. Like we went with all performance. We didn't really pay too much attention for aesthetics. Especially in this market. Yeah, yeah, you gotta, you gotta save as much money as you can, especially during the GPU crisis. Massage gun, it's for me? No, 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 no. Give, hold on to it, give it to Danny. He could use it. He's always careless in the front. His back's always hurting. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, no worries. I've been set up in like 2021 up until now. Oh, no way. Yeah. That's awesome. So when are you submitting, man? 
I wanted to. I joined the Discord recently because I'm okay. working out the courage. And, okay. Yeah. Then we got to get you on set of boards, man. Thank Pass you. a submission. Okay, I'll submit. Of course. Nice meeting you. Oh, baby, baby, baby. That's what I like to see. We are under $1,400. So we made it under $120. So I'm going to take that savings and put it into Tesla stocks or something. But yeah, we did pretty good. Let's go home and build it. Unfortunately, we couldn't snag the card at MSRP, but MSRP is a myth at this point because tariffs are pretty much screwing this country. So it's gonna be very impossible to get stuff at MSRP right now. And we all voted for this, guys. So we can't complain. We all voted for this. But still, we did pretty good. I think we, uh, we so chose our parts. It was quite parts. successful for today, it was quite successful. Very successful. I think we picked our parts nicely. We stayed under $1,500. And we focused mostly on performance, so I cannot complain. And we snagged the white card for less than the retail price. We saved, what, $80 on it? It was $720. $90. Yeah, so overall, not bad. Now the fun begins. Take it home, build it, and see what it can do. So here it is, the final product from today's video. Yes, the cables are an absolute eyesore, but what can you do? I did say I was going for the best price to performance gaming PC, so aesthetics weren't exactly the priority here. But you know, thankfully cable extensions are like $25 anyway, so that is a very easy upgrade to do anyways. Total I have spent at Micro Center was $1380, but if I were to buy outside of Micro Center, it would have costed me $245 more. This is why it's worth the trip to Micro Center if you're building a new PC because the money you end up saving will more than cover the cost of the trip to Micro Center. I mean, unless you're driving more than six hours, then I don't know about that. But if you're one of the few fortunate and lucky people to live near a Micro Center, let me know in the comment section who you are. Temps wise, I wasn't surprised at all. The 212 Halo did a fantastic job keeping the 7700X at bay with peak temps of only 74 degrees Celsius and the GPU didn't even flinch beyond 52C. I did, however, go into the BIOS to enable PBO and set the curve optimizer to negative 20. And not only did the CPU pull about 10 watts of power less at its peak and drop four degrees Celsius, but we also gained more frames, an average of eight FPS more just from enabling PBO in the BIOS which also resulted in the PC running slightly quieter as well. But yeah, another successful run at Micro Center yet again. If you guys are enjoying the Micro Center videos, consider subscribing because I do these every two months on the channel. Also, let me know in the comment section what budget we should do next. Um, also, drop a link to everything I use in the PC below. If you guys want to check it out, thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon in the next one.